we're taking our cooking on the road and exploring some beautiful places while we're at it. On this 500 kilometer round trip getaway, we explore several spots in the Perry Sound Muskoka region. Nelson gives us something to talk o about, and we climb to new heights. The Perry Sound Muskoka District is made up of a whole bunch of towns, townships, villages, First Nation reserves, numerous lakes, and islands. It's a beautiful part of Ontario, and on this weekend, we did some exploring. We are visiting our very good friends at their cottage at the Archipelago in the Perry Sound District. Uh, we're going to be exploring some of the region and we're going to be doing some cooking. So it's going to be a great weekend. First stop, Port Carling, where we'll check out the wall and the locks. Then we're off to Rosso, to the farmer's market. Then we're going to get high in Perry Sound. Ooh. Are you going to explain that? I'll explain. Okay. Then off to the archipelago to our friend's water access only cottage. So looking forward to a little boat ride today and a little exploring. It's a packed agenda. I think we're going to have a blast. Woo! Just about two and a half hours north of Toronto, Port Carling was our first stop. Located on the Indian River, it's known as the Hub of the Lakes, with a set of locks that joins the popular Lake Muskoka and Lake Rosso. Its adorable downtown area has lots of places to shop, dine, or sit back dockside to watch boats. My friend and I decided that ice cream would be a perfectly acceptable breakfast. But as we approached the popular Muskoka's ice cream, we discovered that breakfast ice cream was not that popular of an idea after all. At least I made a new friend. I could be mistaken. But this guy looks familiar. You come around here often? Just across the street, we found picnic tables with family games like checkers and Jenga set up. We played this giant game, but Nelson didn't even try to win. Next, we hopped down to the locks to watch some boats move through. Locks were first completed in Port Carling in 1871. Then later, they were widened for steamship traffic. And in 1922, smaller pleasure boat locks were installed. But I'd say the gem here is the wall, a photo mosaic made up of 9,028 Port Carling pictures. Photos dated from 1860 to 1960 are arranged chronologically, and together they form an image of the RMS Sagamo passing through the Port Carling locks circa 1922. Port Carling was darling. I can't be the first person to have said that. Um, that was really cute. We saw the locks. Um, the wall. Muskoka ice cream was closed. Next stop, Rosso Farmer's Market. And because I can't read, I've been calling it Russo the entire time. And you know what's cool about this market? That it's right off of the water. So we should be at a farmer's market right on the lake. That'll be really cool. And it's time for lunch, so. Let's go eat. Let's grab something at the market. Okay. Next stop, Rosso a popular vacationing area on the north shore of Lake Rosso. We came for the waterfront summer market, which we thought was going to be more of a farmer's market. While there were a couple of farm stands, most of the vendors were local artists, artisans, and craftspeople. Honestly, I was in my happy place, strolling waterside, seeing pretty things, and meeting really nice people. Uh, my sugar bush is 11 miles away. I'll do this and one of those. Thank you, have a great day. I knew I wanted two things, maple syrup for tomorrow's pancake breakfast and a fresh pie for after dinner. And Nelson, well, you know he'd be looking for good espresso. And he found it, served by this very charismatic guy with the funkiest yellow glasses. minutes northwest on the eastern shore of Georgian Bay is the town of Perry Sound. Known as the 30,000 Islands, it's considered the world's largest freshwater archipelago. And it's time for my workout. We're gonna do it? 
We're gonna try. It's really tall. All right, here we go. Okay. There goes nothing. Well, how you doing? I'm really tired. It's time for a break. Hang on. 130 steps later, and we were at the top of this 30 meter high observation tower. Now, I realize that's not a lot for many of you, but no judgments, please. This was a small win for me, and I was pleased. So, we made it. We did, we're alive. Told you we'd be getting high in Perry Sound. This is what we meant, of course. You, you, probably, that, thought, right? you probably thought something no, else. Thank okay. you. Okay. Check this out. Check it out. It was worth the walk up to be gifted with a gorgeous 360 view of the Harbor Georgian Bay. But if getting even higher is more your thing, you can do your sightseeing from a float plane that takes off from the downtown waterfront. You can cruise over beautiful blue water, rugged coastlines, pristine wilderness, and many islands of the archipelago. For me, the tower was as high as I wanted to get. Plus, I could see the famous Perry Sound Canadian Pacific Railway trestle bridge down below, and that meant that the Trestle Brewing Company and supper we're calling my name all right so we're at trestle brewing company and we're just going to get a few details uh about the about the business and the beer hi we're trestle brewery we were established around five years ago now we have a lovely tap room where we serve a gastro pub style uh menu and we brew all of our beer in-house using Georgian Bay water, uh, which is very similar to the water in uh, the Czech Republic where Pilsners are made. Um, so we're very lucky to have that. We've got some amazing beer, some amazing food here, um, and we're hoping to just continue to grow. For the next couple of days, we stayed in the township of the archipelago at our friend's cottage in the area of the Massasauga Provincial Park. With no cars in sight and only the sounds of a few boats and the loons on the water, this place is as beautiful and peaceful as it gets. We love visiting with our friends here. I mean, how can you not love a place like this? Hey Craig and Amy, look what arrived. I'm loving my new t-shirt. By the way, for those of you who don't know uh, Craig and Amy, they have a YouTube channel called Hanging It. Uh, they're YouTube vloggers and they're one of the inspirations uh, that has convinced us to get out, uh, get out of our comfort zone, and tell some stories about gorgeous places like this. Hey there! Day two at the cottage. We're in the archipelagos and we're off to get groceries. And this is how we get groceries at the cottage. A little bummed it's raining right now, but we're gonna make the best of it. We came into town to go to the Mac to your food land and our, as our luck would have it, the old 100-year-old church uh, has just reopened. It is now a gorgeous gallery, and I thought we'd take a little walk through it. Let's go. And let's walk it out. <laughs> let's check this out. came by accident, um, I don't know, six years, seven years ago, six years maybe, I uh, was looking for a building and um, wanted to find something that was uh, um, conducive to paint and sanding and all the stuff I couldn't do in my gallery at the time. So I, I asked my real estate agent to find me something. He found me this church here in Mactir. I didn't know where Mactir was because I had never been here and I'd lived in Muskoka for 30 years, so it was quite a surprise to even find the town. The building was was exactly what I wanted. We have this perfect infrastructure here. The hardware store, the grocery store, the liquor store, we got everything, right? A little gem. So I thought, gee, maybe, maybe this is the place to build my final gallery. So I had it in my head at the time, I was 60 something, I don't know, pretty late in the 60s, and I decided I wanted to build, design and build it myself. I had never done that. I designed buildings before, but I never at this age attempted such a 
thing. Like <laughs> so I built the gallery, and then so I could say, yeah, I built the gallery, I designed the gallery, I put the art in it, you know, etc. So, yeah. so every part of this has your hands. Yeah. Yeah. It's gorgeous. You know, define a piece, right, kind of thing. So, like, John here, right, he he was inspirational because of his uh, his life and, and where he went from a believer to a non-believer and then back to a believer again at the end of his life. I just had a thing for him. I grew up in the 60s, right? So that's, you know, that's Beatles. That's beautiful. Yeah. Powerful. Yeah. It's powerful, right? But every piece has a different story and a different reason for doing it. You know, I, I'm motivated by challenge. So that is, uh, that's what drives me every day. Before long, Peter and Nelson struck up a conversation about food. And Peter invited Nelson to the garden that he and his wife Lita were growing behind the gallery. Peter shared veggies and herbs and honestly made this rainy day a lot brighter. While it rained and Nelson grocery shopped, my friend and I visited the library and the turnaround store where I bought an umbrella, at which point the rain stopped. Isn't it ironic? Day three at the cottage, the weather was perfect, and it was time for Nelson to fire up the grill. On the end of the dock, of course. So we're at our friend's cottage. We are uh, making some chicken tacos today. I'm making this extremely simple. You can, of course, uh, marinate your chicken in wine, beer, garlic, and so on, but I'm gonna make this as easy as possible because we wanna be busy enjoying time with our friends and enjoying time on the water. As you can see, this is pretty cool. I've never grilled under these circumstances. Uh, I'll get started now. So what I'm doing today to keep it super simple is I'm just going to use uh, my own uh, spice rub. Uh, this is something that I make at home. I make big batches. I can use this for salmon, chicken, pork, anything really. And But if you have a preferred spice, you can do the same thing. And this way it keeps it super simple to make chicken tacos incredibly fast. Okay, so I'm gonna season the chicken. Got to make sure that it's well distributed. And mix this. I have my grill uh, quite hot right now. It's at 500 degrees. I want to get nice char marks on these and I want it to cook quickly and that way it'll keep the chicken nice and juicy on the inside. Something else to note is that I could have done this with uh, chicken breasts, uh, but chicken breasts are a little less forgiving. They tend to dry out a little faster. Chicken thighs tend to stay juicier, even if you go over a couple of minutes. So again, just keeping things as simple as possible because we're cooking at the cottage and we don't want to fuss too much. Okay. I'm gonna close the lid and just give this a few minutes. We'll check back shortly. Chicken's been cooking for roughly eight minutes. I'm gonna turn these over now. And then let it cook for about another four or five minutes. I think our chicken's pretty much ready. I'm just gonna put it up here. And we're gonna heat up our corn tortillas. I'll do maybe a couple to start with. Okay, so now I'm gonna chop up my chicken. Assembly. We have a little bit of lettuce from our friend Peter at the art gallery. So now I'm going to put some of the chicken on here. That looks extremely juicy. Another piece. A little bit of pico de gallo that I prepared uh, homemade. If you want the pico de gallo recipe, I have this on the, on the blog. Just go to photosandfood.ca and search pico de gallo and you'll find this there. Red onion for crunch. I'm gonna add a little bit of hot sauce. Not too much though. 
And just so you know, this is from Trestle, where we picked up our uh, beer. And last is a little squirt of lime juice for freshness. And I think this is ready to eat. Should I eat this? Hey, that's ready. Or maybe our passenger here. Here you go. Hello, thank you. Hello. Okay, I'm gonna have to put my down. Jane? Just as the sun is setting, we're calling it a wrap on this weekend road trip adventure. We saw stuff, we climbed stuff, we ate stuff, almost, cooked stuff. I almost lost my glasses. We lost stuff. Yeah. And found stuff and had a great time. So signing off from the district of Perry Sound, Muskoka. Specifically the archipelago. Right now we're in the archipelago. Had a fabulous weekend, even on the rainy day. Uh, we made the most of it. We're so fortunate that we have friends uh, that are gracious enough to share a little piece of paradise with us. So thank you. Thank Peace. you.